Israel TV's Evening Update. I'm Deborah Blum here with the latest news from Israel. Eight seriously injured Syrians, including two children, struck by an artillery strike, were rescued by the IDF. It's reported that the Assad regime targeted a medical center in the neighboring town of Kunitra. The wounded, bleeding heavily, with injuries ranging from shrapnel to bullet lesions, were evacuated from the border fence to hospitals in the north for treatment. Before being taken to the north, dozens of IDF doctors and paramedics worked in darkness through the night to treat them. The Army staff risked their lives to perform the rescue, including landing helicopters close to the war-torn region. Over 2,500 Syrians have received medical attention in Israel since the humanitarian operation began three years ago. If you go onto Google Maps and search for Palestine, it no longer comes up. The Palestinian territories are now all a part of Israel, with no distinction. For example, Ramallah, an economic center in the Palestinian West Bank region, is shown as part of the Jewish state. The internet giant's decision is facing much condemnation. IDF Chief of Staff Gadi Eisenkot embarked on an official visit to America last week. Outside of the Pentagon on Thursday, U.S. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Joseph Dunford unexpectedly awarded Eisenkot with the Legion of Merit Award for exceptionally meritorious service. It's the sixth highest honor that the U.S. can bestow on its service members and it's also extended to foreign officials. This is the third time that a head of the Israeli military has received the distinction. On his tour, the Army chief met with the U.S. Department of Defense to discuss the aid package, checked in on development of the fleet of F-35 fighter jets due to be delivered to the Jewish state later this year, and visited a U.S. Special Forces training base. Each year, about 1,300 from the Haredi ultra-Orthodox community in Israel reject its teachings and leave to become a part of the secular world. A new trend is emerging. It's not just teens and young adults who are now embarking on the typically difficult journey to a modern lifestyle. Single parents and also entire families have joined in the increasing numbers stepping out. Girls in this community go to school to learn how to become wives and mothers, and they don't learn from any books of a non-religious nature. This presents a tremendous problem when trying to assimilate and a group of ex haredim are now suing the government for their lack of a basic education. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Deborah Blum, and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.